be presenting the first edition of this year's Borlase News. As I'm sure you have all realised, the new sixth form building is well underway. It will include three new classrooms, a new sixth form common room, bigger cafe, bigger locker room, as well as a few staff offices. At the end of September, a small group of 14 year 12s went on a creative writing weekend to stay at Hartington Hall in the Yorkshire Dales. The trip gave the students various stimuli to help create a series of gothic stories. The Wallachians enjoyed many gothic themed games, including a walk to take in Derbyshire's countryside, as well as visiting Haddon Hall. In other news, 40 budding GCSE Year 10 historians set off to Ypres in Belgium to see World War II battlefields. A current Year 10 historian said seeing the gravestones lined up bra and right was incredible. It was only then possible to conceive the amount of deaths which the war had caused, as well as the amazing history, it was a really fun trip with lots of sightseeing and culture. On Wednesday the 23rd of October, a group of GCSE and A-level art students visited the British Museum. Whilst here, they went on at thin groups and looked at all the different arts, including ancient Greek paintings and an interesting Japanese exhibition. House drama was fierce this year, with Normans taking first place. Many congratulations to everyone involved. Thou sure and firm setter, hear not my steps which way they walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my whereabouts. Hello, my name is Variable and I'll be presenting the sports news. Borlase has had a great start to the rugby season. Congratulations to the Year 10 squad on winning 60-0 versus THS. The Year 11s won 35-5 over Gillets and the senior squad convincingly beat Dr Challenger's 54-3 in the NatWest Cup. Great progress for the under-16 and under-18 girls hockey squads on being put through to regionals. Special congratulations to the under-16s on being crowned Bucks champions at Stowe School. The season looked promising for them. On Friday the 2nd of October, all years took part in the school's annual cross country. The years were split into age groups, juniors, intermediates and seniors who all had to race at Higginson Park. The first 100 people to finish the race score points for their houses. The overall results for houses were 1st Normans, 2nd Danes and 3rd Saxons. In other sport news, on the 17th of September, Seb Gary raced in the World Age Group Triathlon Championship. He was in the under 20s age group and was also the youngest competitor in the race out of 90. When asking Seb about the race, he said, I pushed the pace all the way to the finish line, coming across in fifth, just 30 seconds behind first. I think we can all agree this is a fantastic achievement for Borlay Sport and Seb. From the 20th to 23rd of November, an art fair held by Andy Gallagher will take place in Medmanham Village Hall in aid of Ian Rennie. Ian Rennie is a worthwhile foundation supporting those at the end of their lives who have suffered with cancer. It's a fantastic cause which a number of Borlay students are involved in. So please come along and bring your parents. Also, Virgin Galactic engineers in the US have set up to have the live hangout session with pupils at SWBGS on Thursday the 5th of November. This is a great opportunity for Borlay students to experience the advancements in space. How exciting! I'm Alex. And I'm Freya. And we, we want, want to say, to say thank, thank you for watching the